So many of thousands of dollars later and of course months later, we still haven't even gone to court yet. These uh, constitutional challenges often go to the Supreme Court because uh, you're dealing with the laws of Canada, not just municipal laws like bylaws when they try to tell you you can't make videos on your own property or post them on the internet or something like that. Yet, Redneck Rick can make videos on their property, so does British Bloke and all the other partners on YouTube, even in the same you know, township as my farm is. And they're not coming over there and threatening to take away everything that they videotaped. Yeah, really, they're actually threatening to take away my bulldozer and my dump truck and my bus and, and my backhoe and all the stuff I use to maintain my farm just because I videotaped it. Does that mean if I videotape my ex-girlfriend, they'll take her away too? Oh, sweet. <laughs> Let's hope they win on that one, just on that one little point. Yeah, funny thing is, they call my cars derelicts because I make 99% of the videos with my cars. Okay, I make 1% of my videos with my heavy equipment, and they're calling that movie props on their official paperwork. Gee. I would think the stuff that you made 99% of your videos with were movie props and the stuff that you made 1% of your videos with are the heavy equipment I use to maintain my property. You know, I use my tractor and my bulldozer to maintain my property. You all see my bulldozer plowing snow. I also use them in my little gravel pit or quarry that I own. And having a quarry on your property and operating it is a permissible use, they told me, of my property. They said videotaping isn't a permissible use of my property, but operating my quarry is. Well, I use my bulldozer, backhoe, and dump truck, and all that stuff in my quarry to maintain my quarry and use the gravel on my laneways and stuff. But they still want to take that equipment away just because I videotaped it. That's really strange. Have you ever heard of any other farmer losing his tractor that he plows his driveway with or plows his field with because he videotaped it? We've got a big constitutional challenge, and I hope it hits the big media because they're really good to see how stuck up and sick these bylaw Lucan officials are. The, 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 the funny irony of it all is, have you ever heard of a story called the Black Donnellys? You know, back in the late 1800s, there was an Irish family that weren't black. They just called them black as sin because they drank a lot. They ran the taxi business, which was stagecoach, stagecoach business back then. And they got in a lot of fights, and they did some underhanded things with their competition to try to get all the business and stuff for taxiing people from town to town, since not everybody wanted to ride a horse. Well, the townspeople got together, that's how the Donnelly story goes, and they burned them out. Yep, they burned the whole family down in their home, and only the young daughter escaped. Well, went to court twice. Townspeople all know who did it, but nobody would talk, and it was eventually thrown out of court. No, you know, there was no per people who would stand up and be a witness, yet everybody knew who did it. So it made Canada's first mass murder news at the time. Yep, that was Canada's real first mass murder. And guess what? Lucan spent $240,000 building a little museum in downtown Main Street, Lucan, to honor a gang of murderers. Yet a guy like this, who makes David's Farm videos, is the bad guy and they have to get rid of him? Well, maybe in over a hundred years, they'll have a bigger museum about me. <laughs> yeah, there'll be lots of newspaper stories and stuff that went on to the Supreme Court to be Canada's first person who wasn't allowed to make videos on his own property and they came and seized everything that he filmed 